days of yesteryear, getting your motorcycle learner's permit amounted to a simple multiple choice test, and if successful, a baptism of fire on public roads. Lunacy, really. Thankfully, training has come a long way since then, and every jurisdiction in Australia has now implemented a wide-ranging learner permit curriculum with on-range, theory, and on-road components, and enough reason for bike sales to head back to school to try the program out for ourselves. Our social media man, Jordan, accepted the challenge, and we engaged the services of Ryder Brothers, based out of Calder Park in Melbourne, to do the training course, one of many organisations in Victoria offering such a curriculum. Jordan was a greenhorn, which was perfect as the two-day course assumes no prior motorcycle riding knowledge. The course began with a brief overview of the curriculum and a general chat about unique aspects of motorcycling. Michael, the instructor, was already engaging the students in a clear and concise manner, communication traits that would take on even more importance during the on-range activities. Jordan was then kitted out in full safety gear, which was supplied by Ryder Brothers, before hitting the range to start some bike familiarisation and practical exercises, beginning with the engine off before moving to powered movements. Small things like just relaxing on the bike, pulling the clutch in, actually getting started and, and manoeuvring with the bike is uh, a bit more challenging than I first thought. Well, I guess if you're considering taking the plunge and going for your learners, it's, it's not as sort of scary as I first thought. It's, it's actually, I'm having quite a bit of fun, even just at slow speeds, moving with the bike, never riding a bike. It's, I mean, I was a bit scared at the start, but um, very, very quickly I, I sort of got used to it and really enjoying it. Day one ended with some more on-range exercises, cornering, slow riding and a consolidation of the earlier drills before the knowledge test. Jordan passed, so he left for home with a smile and was spared a red-faced call to his work colleagues. He even passed the eye test. His job was only half done though, and another glorious day on the Calder Park range greeted him on day two, where steering, manoeuvring, crash avoidance and emergency braking drills were on the program. Then it was a moment of truth, the on-range practical assessment. Despite some anxiety, he got through. Two days of skill reinforcement and expert tutelage got him across the line. From, from someone who hasn't ridden a motorbike before, hasn't been on a motorbike before, um, I've learned a hell of a lot. And you know, the team here at Rider Bros really helped me out. You know, we had five people in our group, but I never once thought I couldn't ask for help or they were too busy with someone else. Um, and they, if they can get a novice like me to, to, to get the basic um, motorcycle skills, and I mean, I'm sure they can help anyone. I mean, I'm no Valentino Rossi uh, by any stretch, but I'm pretty confident to go out on the road and I'm um, ready to get started on two wheels. Jordan and his four graduates, alongside the instructor Michael, then took in a 70k loop around Calder Park, traversing a variety of roads and adhering to a variety of speed limits. It was a taste of what it's like in the real world. We'll keep you posted as Jordan continues his motorcycling journey.